Hey, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit a PDF in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC so you can make edits to the text, to the images, correct typos, move things around, maybe replace images, whatever you need to make an edit on on the PDF. So this software allows you to do that along with adding new text or images as well. So let's get started. So I have one of our free guides here that we offer from our website with 12 ready to film YouTube video ideas. I'm going to make an edit to this PDF here. So I'll just scroll down. Let's say I wanna change up the text here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this better. And I have this PDF opened, by the way, in the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC software. If you don't have it or are not sure what it is, I'm gonna to link to it in the description below so you can check it out. So once you're on the page that you wanna make the edits to, the next thing you wanna do is head over to the toolbar on the right-hand side, and you wanna click on where it says Edit PDF. It should pop up here as the third one below, but if for whatever reason it doesn't, you wanna go down here to where it says more tools, because everyone's toolbar looks a little bit different depending on your settings. So when you click on more tools, it will also be under the create and edit section right here where it says edit PDF. So let's click on that, whether you're clicking on it from here or from the sidebar is totally fine. I'm gonna hit that button there and you'll see when i did that it started to outline all of the sections of content on this pdf in a little box i can make edits to any of these things that are within that box so let's say i wanted to change this up i just need to click here and then i can add additional text right or I can change something here if it's a typo. So you can easily make those text changes. You can move the text box around. I just need to kind of roll over onto the outline of the box until you see those crosshairs. And then when you click and drag it, you can move it into place. And I like that they have those ruler guidelines um, going across the page, which is handy to make sure everything is aligned. I can also change the font or the font size of any of these things here. So if you see off to the side, this first arrow here allows me to change the font. Uh, I can change the font size right over here. If let's say, for example, I want more space on the page to be able to add another image or more text, that's where changing the font size will come in handy, making it smaller. You can also do other things like adjusting the spacing between the lines or between the letters. All of those options are available to you here. So what about if you want to switch out an image or replace an image? So all you need to do is click on right click on that image and you should see something that says replace image. And when you see that, you can head over to wherever you have an image double click on it and then it'll switch it out for you within the same parameters of that image that was originally there. And from here I can, you know, navigate over to the corners and drag it down to make it smaller, you can resize those images and I can drag it into place like so. If you forgot to add a link to your text as well, you can do that. So again, just highlight whatever text you want to hyperlink. You can head over here to where it says link and then you go add a web link. For the most part, you can see there's other options here, but just for a straightforward link, you'll click on add web link and you'll need to then take your little cursor here and create a box around the area that you want to hyperlink and it'll be an invisible box. I personally like to create the invisible box, but you do have the option here to create a visible rectangle, which that means it will show that that spot is clickable, like let me just show you what it looks like when it's visible. So it'll show up like an actual outlined box, but if you don't want that, you can come back here. Let's say I wanna link this again, make it invisible. Again, open to a web page. Let's pretend it's Google. And that way, when you click out of it, this part won't be visible anymore. So I'm going to close this and you see this one still has the rectangle. This link does not. So that 
button there where it says close it just basically closes out the editing view and allows you to preview the pdf as it normally would be after you make all those changes so you can go back and forth between this view and then go back and click on edit PDF to make those changes, make sure everything looks good. One thing to keep in mind about editing the text is you can only edit the text when you have that font, that particular font in your system. It's installed in your system. If it's not installed in your system, but the font is embedded within the PDF, which just basically means whoever created the PDF might have embedded the font into the PDF so that whoever wants to edit it can also use it. So if it is not installed in your system, but embedded in your PDF, you can make changes to the font color and the size, but you won't be able to actually change up any of the text. If the font in the PDF is neither installed on your system or embedded, then you won't be able to make any changes. And I just wanted to, any changes to the text itself. And I just wanted to mention that because some of you might try to change the text and you'll find out it's not working. And the final thing I'll show you is how to add a text or add an image. Cause so far I've just shown you how to make revisions to the content that's already here. But let's say you wanna just add a text box. So all I need to do is click on add text and then wherever I want that text to be, let's say it's here, I'm just gonna click and drag. And then maybe I wanna include the date. So let's just put this right here and we'll make it, there does need to be a comma there. <laughs> let's make that bigger. We'll do something like this. Okay, and I can adjust the text box to give that more room move that into place. So you can do, you can add the text like this and you can do the same thing with adding an image and it'll pop up, the box will pop up for you to select it. You just need to double click on it and wherever you place your cursor, let's say here, you can put it there and then make your sizing adjustments accordingly or even rotate it. So if you see here on the corner, when it has a little curved arrow, I can move it around if I wanted to, like so. So that's it guys, that's how you edit a PDF, an existing PDF using the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC software. If you don't feel like doing this yourself, you need help with editing your PDF or even designing one from scratch. I've designed hundreds of PDF worksheets, eBooks, handouts, you name it. So if you need some help, hit me up. I'll include my email address in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.